Yeah, this is why you don't leave tubes on your bench sitting in the open. See a nice crack right through the base. It hasn't fully degassed, but it's getting there. 3CB6. Well, I can't say I can trust that tube anymore. Don't leave tubes sitting on your bench out in the open. <laughs> Bad things will happen. If anything, stick them in a jar like this. In a jar like that is way better. So these guys here, I gotta stick in that jar. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. So the uh, clamp for the yoke there, which holds the two uh, ferrite cores together. It just snapped right off, didn't it? I'm gonna try one of these. Hopefully that will work. So my buddy sent me the schematic for this TV and interestingly enough, it is a, I guess the model number was worn off. It's a 6F1. 16F1, I mean. Um, the model is, yeah, this, the chassis is 16F1. P17D21 is what the model of the TV is. Now, so if I match that up to here, I can't really tell, but there is a, it's definitely a 7 and a D22X. So it's a slightly different model. Good thing this camera has autofocus with the video going. Anyways, now that resistor that's sitting on the chassis around the picture tube is the filament string resistor. As you can see, here's all the filament stringed here. And the it is a 17 ohm 15 watt. So I'm gonna replace that with a chassis type wire wound and see where that gets me. I should is probably still good, but I will order one anyway. Um, oh yeah, these rectifiers here, oh uh, shoot, what are they called? They're in the, uh, yeah, horizontal AFC selenium diodes, and they are sitting on a little block in there. I'll show you where they are. These just get replaced with one in 4148s. That's what I did with the other TV. And yeah, because then you otherwise you can have bad lock. So, uh, yeah, so, sorry if the terminology that I'm using is not entirely correct. I'm still new to working on these sets, I'm getting better. That's why I watch videos. Looks like we got a 12CU5 for the amplifier tube 16AW8. It's a 17BZP4 picture tube. So I should have 15 kilovolts for the flyback. Good to know. I have a 1B3 rectifier. I think I got lots of those. 12DQ6. 6CG7. Hmm. This is all pretty straightforward. It's a lot easier when you have a schematic. Now that 2.2K, oh, there's that 22K 2 watt resistor. So that is on the screen of the 12DQ6. So yeah, I should make get a decent resistor for that. I guess you can parallel, interesting. And eh, now there is a 0.0, is that the guy there? 0 0.033 and it's a 0 0.027 on the TV. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. That makes sense. Anyways. There's your yoke coils. And, yeah, deflection yoke. The little diode I was talking about there. It's this guy right here. Which is sitting in a socket. So, I could get super... If I can get you out. Here we go. Camera gonna focus. Here we go. This little guy here, eh? Huh. I wonder if I can clean that case out and just put diodes in there so it looks original. Why not? Look, it has a crack in it. It's never a good sign. 
that'll be done. Oh yeah, something interesting I found too was the it's a .047. And this guy here, I haven't checked on the schematic where it is, but the top blew off it nicely. Look at the friggin' munge. That's <laughs> that is look at the munge, man. It's not really as bad as it could be, but it's still pretty bad. So I'm gonna have to pull all the tubes out of here and clean that out. There's the other end of that lead. It's things that like that that make me laugh. That must be the audio output transformer there. And these pots, just turning them. They don't sound so great, but I'll probably take them apart and clean them too. <laughs> all right, so I've gone through and pulled out all a whole bunch of capacitors here. I got most of the values I need. There's some I'm gonna have to order though. There's some used filters here that I will be using. These ones are new. And I will be, if I have to, I will be restuffing these. I gotta start cleaning this chassis. Because it's pretty bad. So, let's get on with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove the uh, this wire here. Now, that looks a little bit better, doesn't it? So I had to clean it because I never know if there's pieces of wire or anything conductive sitting in there. It looks pretty good. And I did find another capacitor down here. It looks like a wax cap sitting right there. Let's see what value that is. Value there. It's a .01. All right. Other than that, pretty much got everything. The uh, also appears a little more, see if it's a little bit better, but, yeah, all right. I will start going through and recapping this with what I got. This cap here, eh? Mmm, that's delicious. Royal Tiger! Where's the outside foil? Over here? Alright. Of course these ones are not polarized, so... This one has the outside foil.
All right, so this capacitor eh, has a swell on it, so I don't know. I'm not going to trust it. I'm going to restuff it. Alright, so, this capacitor I just decided to pull because it looks suspicious, it's 40 at 200, I don't really trust these axial capacitors that much, so, I'm going to restuff it, to make it look original, and to do that, I am going to cut this outer casing off. Very dangerous knife. Yes. <laughs> Almost got it. Severed here. There we go. Oh yeah, look. There's corrosion inside there. <laughs> yeah, see the case is corroded. You know, it's all swelled up. Don't really trust that. I could test it, but for a uh, long term, still wouldn't trust it. <laughs> Yeah. Look how it has an elastic band wrapped around it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that. Alright, so I got myself the new capacitor here. Tycon. 250 volt, 47 microfarad. The old one is 40 at 200 volts. Oh, that's fine. So I'm gonna drill a couple holes in here. Put a in the top, top of it. Drill a hole in the bottom. I'll put it right here. Polarity. I don't really need that much lead on here, so it sits in there just like that. Pack full of silicone here. Sit together just like that. Slide this casing back over it. 
proper polarity, please. <laughs> So, now your cap capacitor has been restuffed, and you just have to wire the tab wires on the tabs here. Alright, so I am now at the stage where I'm going to test the power supply and see if those filters are going to restore or not. I pretty much have all the capacitors replaced now. Actually, yeah, there's a few that I checked. They checked good on the leakage test, so it should be fine. I had to jump to this wire because that filament resistor isn't in there, but that doesn't matter at this point. I just want to see what my filters do. So, what I'm going to do, I have it on the dim bulb, so it'll be current limiting. Got negative voltage here. There we go, went to positive. A promising sign. Voltage coming up. Yeah! No heat on the dim bulb, so it's not drawing any current. Yeah, so this is slowly increasing on its own. So, what I'll probably do is just leave that for a while, and let that slowly restore. I'll do some voltage checks here. <laughs> 